Hi friends, welcome to also in C Sharp tutorial. In this C Sharp tutorial, now I am telling that one of the new concept is best concept to ASP uh, website. Okay, so if you if you are creating any website means by using this method, we can test any co coding concept or any other concept also. This concept is used to testing code or uh, exam results like that okay so how to do like this concept okay so once again I'm sure to you uh, sorry first of all I want to uh, sh uh, show to you okay what I what I'm uh, telling in this C sharp concept okay so already uh, declared this concept so just I'm going to try it yourself like this button means so that code open here okay so when I click this uh, result button at the time this HTML code converted to the result page okay so if I change here okay so just time go to uh, this header see table teeth uh, cell okay header and cell I am go to collapse this okay so just time remove it okay and close it okay now I am go to click means the result change it here see the uh, cells separate separate cell the line uh, collapsed here okay so just erase here so just um, reset see here also see this place reset here so uh, default I am set here now I am click see result so it's it contain the line okay so just see here okay now it contain line okay so how to do this concept from HTML to uh, web browsing okay so like this concept we can use anywhere okay so how to do that one okay so first of all I want to uh, tell this concept how to do it, okay so just I'm go to open that uh, visual studio so in this visual studio tool used to do uh, create um, like this concept so first of all I'm go to declare the title to this just I am click label here ok in this label I am declare that name as T M L as T M L to one we need a uh, bold so we want no clearly so just and go to font here yeah, just click font so the font opening here font size is defaultly uh, builder in this place in this event so just to another click that font at the time of opening uh, one window in that window have in bold and that font size which says you want that one we can declare on the font cells also ok so just I'm click bold and then I extend 26 like that uh, 24 ok so just click ok so like this title I'm set here ok ok now I go to extend this one so this is label key one this time go to action this form ok now I go to add one button for C in this place one button when I click this button at the time the HTML code converted to the result like this okay so how to do this 
so just I am go to here one text box I want to add for HTML editing ok so which text, which text box we want to add um, I think here here see rich text box available or just to add this text box also just to go to add this text box and then in this text box just to the arrow mark click here multi line just click here means like this it's automatically it's automatically we can use as the rich text box or this one method or just to erase it just to go to add this rich text box ok so just drag and drop here it's automatically open as the uh, rich text box ok just um, go to Just to this form also I want to extend here. Okay. And then I want to need uh, add here. Uh, I want to add here one button for searching result. Okay. So just to go to add here one button. Okay. Just and go to declare button for to search so I'm clicking here result ok like this and declare and then font size also I want to go to edit here so just then go to click font here open that font window so click bold and then I click here jewel and then click OK. So its result not clearly. Okay. Mm, now I'm going to add um, when I see <coughs> control F5. Now I'm showing that uh, the forms in run mode even the debug mode even. So the project loader now it's opening here ok see like this window open ok if you want to clearly know means just uh, go to change this background ok between property background color any others also just don't go to add any other which color you want that one you can find here ok just and go to so this I think ok Okay. Okay. Now I'm go to add. See, uh, if now I'm go to control S and then control F5. Now that uh, project open. See, now clearly no. Okay. So here and what I'm declare that one when are clicking result at the time we want to find in this place ok so how it's to do so just I'm go to I want to add here one event for 
browsing so what is that even means that is web browse okay so that web browse having here okay so just time go to add this web browse here okay and then extract this one okay so just a button also click here okay okay so now i'm control s now i click here double click this button so when I click this button, at the time only we want to find that. Okay, so just uh, in this place, what I am declare means. In this place, what I am declare means. Uh, the web browse. See, this is web browse. Which one? Web browse one. Okay, so I am just go to here, change that name. Okay. Web browse. Just I'm going to change the name. Brow. Browser. Okay. Browser. Result. Okay. Browser result. I'm declared here. Okay and then this text box name I am declared here this text box name I am declared here Editor, okay. Editor, like this and declare. Okay, so now I'm go to here. In this place, I'm declare. Um, control S. Now I'm go to browser result. I want to open. Okay, so whenever declare in this text box, see. When I declare this text box code, convert to uh, this text box name and then uh, this browser name I want to declare in this place. Okay, what I am declare this one I want to get in this browser. Okay, so uh, when I am clicking this button event, so the uh, button double click here and then open this button click event. Here I am going to declare that browser name. Okay, so that is browser, browser result. Okay, browser result dot document 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 text okay document text equal in this document text uh, that editor okay editor text box editor dot text okay control s so this simple code uh, whenever you declare at the time only uh, we can find that result okay so see in this place I am go to copy this all that event control A control C so this copy this code HTML code and then go to this C this is browser okay this is web browser but I am showing in dot uh, net framework okay C now I am go to run this one debug control F5 so this event open here here I am control B declare okay so see in this place I am declared here okay so this HTML code I am declared here now I am go to click result means at the time this code converted to this design page okay so just click result so it's automatically designed here okay Suppose I want to change anything here means 
colors like that and then back color just I'm going to declare that um, back um, background like this I'm given here and then here I'm declare that uh, as f3 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 ok like this I'm given control now I'm going to declare that result see the background change here ok so suppose I'm going to declare the here color I think change in other C uh, other color C C C and then D D D like this I'm given here now I'm going to touch it so change that color ok so suppose I'm going to change here mm, D3 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 like this so just click here so that color that one color change it so just I'm going to here uh, change that green green like this and given so automatically green color ok suppose I declare the here red so it's automatically background color change to red ok so we can find anything ok so by using this method we can create like this uh, such result event ok ok friends uh, I think uh, enjoy this video I think uh, I hope you uh, if you want know if you want learn many more concept means just subscribe me and then if you like this video means just share it ok thank you friends bye from uh, I will teach you another one best concept in another one